Student achievement in Mississippi is even better than it was before the pandemic because of the hard work and resilience of our teachers, students, and administrators in schools just like yours. I would like to take a moment right now to honor the dedicated faculty and staff here. If we could have all teachers, paraeducators, counselors, custodians, assistant principals, principal plot, could you please stand for a round of applause? should say thank you to outstanding educators more often. That's why a man named Lowell Milken created a program over 35 years ago called the Milken Educator Awards. And before we leave here today, a teacher right here is going to receive this national award. $25,000. $25,000! The Milken Educator Award goes to Anna Davis. <laughs> Jennifer Height. <laughs> Chrissy Long. What an example you are for doing so many things. Understand, not only being a wonderful teacher, but also going that extra mile from everything from driving a bus to leading different activities at the school. And thank you so much for the impact that you've had on so many students that have come through the Pearl Schools and the impact that you've also had on fellow educators. And this is just a true honor, not only for you and Neshoba Central, but also for the entire state of Mississippi. Congratulations on an excellent job. I graduated from Houston High School and I have been here for 10 years. This is going on 11. 6.20 in the morning I drive the bus, so I get here at 7.30 and then I teach three blocks. I teach because I want to see the kids come back one day and tell me that, you know, I succeeded in life. I teach science. My favorite is whenever I get emails back from my students telling me about how they've been doing over the years or um, how their school year is going. A lot of times we just go about teaching our students and trying to push them to be the best that they can be and that's reward enough, but when someone notices, that warms your heart. I decided to become an educator because I was a student, not who was left behind, but just one of those who kind of flew under the radar. I wanted to make learning fun and engaging for students, so I decided to become an educator. And I learned the hard way that it's not always easy, but it's definitely fun watching their light bulbs turn on when they get a skill. Congratulations!